Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So we have a used trailer sitting behind me. Now, we understand that things can change at times. This is actually a 2022 Exus six source sitting behind me. So it's purchased brand new and it is a 22 model. So very, very recently purchased, but things do change. They wanted to go with the living quarters. So they actually traded this in on one of our used living quarters we had here at the lot. Um, but before we get into, into that, we'll talk a little bit about this trailer and kind of what we do here to these. So we do take trade-ins, we do buy trailers. But when we bring these used trailers in, we want to do a couple things to them. Uh, TransWest is a very service-driven company and we want this trailer to be ready for you to go down the road when you purchase it. Now granted, it is a 2022. So, you know, don't find a whole lot of things on these type of trailers. Uh, but we still want to do our inspections. We still want to align it. We align every single use trailer that comes through because they're no different than passenger vehicles. Something can get knocked out of alignment and then you're going to have bad tire wear, potentially leading to a blowout. You on the side of the road, maybe doing damage to the trailer. We don't want that. So we want these trailers to run true and right in straight down the road. So we take a snapshot of before when we put it on the alignment machine and after, and then we keep records of that so we can show you that information if, if you'd like, but then we keep it for our purposes on our end too later on. If somebody calls and says, hey, I've got some weird tire wear, we can bring them back in, put it on the alignment machine and say, here's where it was when it left, here's where it is today, here's what we're seeing, and then we can adjust from there. But just because it is a 22, it is a used trailer. So we're not gonna tell you it's a brand new trailer, it's not, it's, it is in very good condition, very lightly used, uh, but it is a used trailer. So if you're in the market for a six horse, there's not a lot of them out here. And I know this looks like a stock combo, but it does have dividers and we'll work through it a little bit. But let's walk you through how this trailer is equipped. Underneath the neck here, it's pretty standard. I mean, you just have a single leg manual hand crank jack. Now I do like that they upgraded to, instead of a steel wheel for your spare, you're getting an additional fifth aluminum wheel on this. These are 16 inch tires. So it's the black spoke with some of the silver accents there you're seeing a lot more of those themselves. This is a 27 foot long trailer. So on the floor, it's 27 foot. It is seven foot tall. It is seven, six wide. So you, we do have a little bit more width to this trailer. Now, at a quick glance, you might notice that there's no running board on the side of the trailer. And that's usually most common in eight foot trailers, but on some of these seven, six wide trailers, you can build them without running board. So at a first notice, you might look and say, wow, that's an eight foot wide trailer, but it isn't. About half the wheel wells on the outside of the trailer and half of it's on the inside. So this is a seven, six wide. Now here on the front tack room, access door is on driver's side. This is a prefab door. It's rounded at the top. That's kind of a dead giveaway there, but you do get this screen door. So if you wanted to be in there, you know, throw a mattress in there or something like that, where you're just trying to keep maybe some bugs out, you have that screen door for that. You do have a fold up step going into this tack room. That is a three and a half foot short wall there. You do have some windows up in the neck, so it is carpeted, the deck, and then the gooseneck drop wall. So you can throw a mattress in there you have a brush tray right here on the gooseneck drop wall for kind of some smaller miscellaneous items. It's located there because rem remember there is a screen door on that, on that actual tack door. So we can't actually locate that on that door there. And then over here on the long wall, you're gonna have two removable saddle posts and then you have three pads per. So it is a six horse, you're getting six. If you wanted to add more, you could. You could just call Lexus and go ahead and order those. These are adjustable. So what we do right here is you just literally unscrew this, move it where you want, and then tighten it back up. So very, very simple to use there. And then you've got bridle hooks with carpet on the partition wall. We really like carpet on partition walls because one, it's not gonna scuff up your tack. I mean, we don't have metal on metal contact. Uh, and then also, it's gonna also deaden some of that noise for your horses on the other side of that wall. Directly behind that, is an access door that's gonna hop right into stall number one. And we'll walk you through a little bit more of that stall area when we get in there. But if you have, if you need the ability to hop in, 
it is kind of nice. It's right here at the same side as the tack door, so you're not having to go completely around the trailer to the other side. Plexiglass inserts. It is the clear plexiglass. It can remove. I'll show you where that removes at the back. Uh, first, we have two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles. Again, the 16 inch aluminum wheels, the black with the silver accent. These are Goodyear G rated tires. So these are 14 ply tires. So this is a really, uh, you know, you got a good amount of tread and a good rated tire underneath this trailer. That's one of the very first things when I'm building the trailer with somebody is I always look at tires. I always like upgrading tires uh, just because, listen, we're gonna put miles on them. Let's go ahead and, I mean, obviously it's a case by case basis on the trailer. Uh, the manufacturers will make their recommendations, but I do like going on these type of trailers to a, to a good 14 ply. So again, if you want to remove that plexiglass, there's a strip right here at the back. So all you're going to do is undo these here, remove this strap, this aluminum piece, slide all your plexiglass out. Go ahead and reinstall this because the last thing we want to do is then lose this piece. But I also like to do a couple things. Now, this doesn't have a plexiglass storage tray that on like some of our Cimarron's do. Uh, we could order one. Uh, it's very universal and we could have that installed for you. But I like to keep the plexiglass all in kind of one area. So I like to remove the, the upper driver's side and then the lower side and same on the other side, on the passenger side, but I like to keep them in sections. And masking tape or painter's tape works really well because it doesn't leave a real sticky residue. You know, if you were to grab like a duct tape or Gorilla tape or something like that, I mean, it's going to get real sticky and real kind of gross. Uh, and then take a, a mat, a, you know, some type of a marker and just write on there driver side upper, driver side lower, same for the passenger. But then you keep them all together so when you go to put them back, that's not a big puzzle and you're trying to figure out where they all go. We have a single door at the back. It does have plexiglass as well, so that'll remove. But as you can see, just a nice, big, wide open, inviting stall area. By having that single door, no rear tack room, uh, you've got your solid dividers. Again, notice the wheel wells. So we have kick mats on, on the hip side and then on that partition wall, but you're gonna have a little bit of wheel well on each side of the trailer. Again, that's because it's seven, six wide. If it was eight foot wide, they'd even be deeper. On the normal seven footers that a lot of uh, manufacturers call them, uh, you're gonna have no wheel well in there. It's usually actually more accurate, it's about six, 10 wide. Um, but with that, then you're gonna have no wheel well. In this one, you do. So we've got, again, the solid dividers. They have the slam latch. So really easy to, to go ahead and shut. It's safer for you. There's also some snaps with hooks. So you can actually snap everything back and hold it into place on this back wall. I want to get to this very last one because if you notice this back gate can shut. And that's because this is a telescoping divider. So instead of adding more link to this trailer, and it is a cold morning here in Colorado, there we go. Now I can extend it. But if, if this was a solid divider like the others, if you look at that, it'd be in the opening of this back gate. In order for us to shut it, that's where it would have to be. So without adding more link to this trailer, in order to keep this solid, they opted for, again, the telescoping. So now we can slide it over, again, slide it in, and then put it against the wall, and I can go ahead and shut it there. But again, kind of a stock combo with divider set type setup on this option. You do have some LED lights in there as well. But there's also things that we can always add to these trailers. You know, some people have horses that really prefer rear ramp type setups as far as load. We could remove the rubber bumper and add one there. If you wanted to add a hay rack to this trailer, our parts and service department can help you out there as well. We can do some six foot, nine foot long hay racks, bolt on ladders or easy angle ladders. They're a little bit easier. We can do open sided hay racks. We can do sheeted side hay racks. We can do all those. We can put a hydraulic jack on this trailer if you'd like as well. But there again, there's your plexiglass on hip wall. 
You have your exterior tie rings. It is white sheeted. That's usually standard for most manufacturers as far as their, their color goes. But again, as you can see, very lightly used six horse trailer. There's not many six horses out there. So if you are interested in this trailer, give us a call. Again, it's a 2022 Exus six horse. The stock number on the trailer is 5U220-241. Again, anybody on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.